If you've ever had food poisoning or an infection, you have probably heard of the bland diet. The bland diet is also sometimes called the brat diet, which stands for bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. These are foods that are low in fiber, low in fats, and easy to digest. But the bland diet is not only used for food poisoning or infections, it can also be used for things like gastritis, stomach irritation, reflux, GERD. Welcome back to The Mindful Spoon. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what the brat diet is and how you can apply it in order to ease your symptoms. This channel is all about different ways that you can ease your stomach symptoms like gas, bloating, reflux, inflammation. Of course, of course, before you start any diet, please consult your doctor or your healthcare practitioner. Now, like I said, the bland diet is very common among people who have irritation in their stomach. Whether it's in the esophagus or in the stomach lining, there is inflammation, there's irritation. The bland diet helps in this case because it helps ease symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, and loss of appetite. And as we know, for a lot of people, one of the main things that they suffer from when they have things like gastritis is they lose a ton of unhealthy weight, like very quickly. A lot of times people are aware that after they eat, they're gonna feel horrible, they're gonna have all these symptoms. So sometimes they just either cut back on the food or don't eat completely. And this can really affect the way that you're healing. Again, this is why the bland diet can be very helpful for some people because it's easy to digest. And if you find yourself not eating enough or losing too much weight, bringing in some of these foods here and there in between your meals can help keep your energy levels up and make you feel a little bit better. So what are the foods that you can eat on a bland diet? For protein, you can include baked chicken or grilled chicken, low fat milk or egg whites or full eggs if you can't tolerate them, yogurt and nut butters. Now in the bland diet, it's recommended not to eat too many fruits and vegetables because they have a lot of fiber. And when your stomach already has a lot of inflammation, throwing in a bunch of different fibers can really overwork it. So although for the most part in a bland diet, it's recommended not to eat raw fruits and vegetables, you can eat fruits that are a little bit softer like bananas, or you can eat vegetables that are cooked very blandly. I don't know the exact way to say this, but cooking vegetables blandly is kind of like boiling them, putting them in hot water, boiling them, and keeping them very, very soft. It might bring down the nutrient level a little bit for some vegetables, but it is better on your digestive system. On a bland diet, you can also incorporate white potatoes, but make sure that you don't add a lot of fats, like a lot of butter and a lot of fried things, because that can also really overwork the system. Again, your stomach is inflammated. There's a lot of inflammation going on in your body, so you wanna make sure to give it the most purest way possible. So that's why I think boiling vegetables can be a lot easier on your digestive system. And if you're gonna cook something and you wanna use some type of oil, then you can go ahead and use olive oil. That's one of my favorite ones to cook with. I literally cook everything with olive oil. Also, make sure you keep the seasonings to a minimum. You don't want no hot Cheeto, habanero, flaming, hot, spicy seasoning on your food. You can have fruit juices. I know a lot of people have asked this in the past. When you have some type of irritation, you can have fruit juices, but be specific. Figure out which ones work for you and which ones don't. I personally found that mango juice was very irritating to me for some weird reason. So again, it all depends. It's all on a personal basis. This is gonna hurt a lot of people, but try to stay away from caffeine and alcohol. We've talked about this a lot of times, not only in a bland diet, but just in a regular diet when you're trying to reduce inflammation. Caffeine can be very acidic. I know darker roasts are a lot better for people who have acid reflux and who have stomach issues. So if you have to, you can do darker roasts, but try to avoid lighter roasts. And also I have a very controversial belief that some people have when it comes to healing your gastritis and it's you can have some type of citruses like a little bit of lemon in your water day by day like adding a little bit of those cups of water throughout the week in order to bring that good acidity to your stomach because your stomach is supposed to be acidic that's my controversial topic i know a lot of people think like you should just remove every single acidity type of food from your diet but i am a true believer that adding little by little a tiny bit of good acidity like a citrus like a lemon can make a huge difference in balancing the acidity in your stomach but that's a topic that i can talk about another time because i know it can confuse a lot of people all right so here are some bland diet meals that you can put together at home for breakfast i would suggest two pieces of toast with maybe a poached egg or the egg of your choice for lunch potato stuffed with ground turkey again very lean for dinner again grilled chicken or baked chicken is great 
great. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but using an air fryer is okay as long as you're not packing it with a ton of fats. You could do mashed potatoes with maybe some carrots on the side, some toast with nut butters and banana on top. There's a lot of different ways that you can really shush it up. For dessert or for a snack, you can even do a smoothie, a banana smoothie with some almond milk and the nut butter of your choice or the milk of your choice. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and I hope this kind of puts you a step further into your healing journey. Like I've mentioned in one of my past videos, this takes a lot of time in order for you to start feeling better and it takes a lot of patience. So you have to make sure that you're either writing it out, how you're feeling every day. Maybe that's a way that you can also clear your head at the end of the day find different techniques that work for you or have worked for you in the past and just repeat them. It's all about repeating the same things that make you feel good because that will get you a step closer into fully healing your gastritis, GERD, acid reflux. If you'd like to learn more about the ways that I was able to reset my stomach lining, there's actually a free guide down below. There's a ton of people in this community that have downloaded it and I hope you guys are putting it into practice. And follow The Mindful Spoon on our social medias. We have Instagram, Instagram and TikTok that we post almost daily or almost very frequently. We post different recipes and tips so you can start on your healing journey right this instant. Comment down below if you've tried the bland diet and also what would you like to see from this channel. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye!